the truth. So help you God. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sanderson, we met before, we, we didn't finish, so we're trying to work our way in. I'm on a 30-minute clock, so I'm going to try to ask questions uh, very directly and just have you say yes or no. If I can, I will. Uh, did you, upon filing your lawsuit in a press conference, compare my client to King Kong coming out of the jungle? Yes or no? That was not my intention. Did you do that? Did I make up those words or are those your words to the press? I'm not sure, but probably sounds familiar. Do you dispute it? I dispute my intentions, that's all I... King Kong coming out of the jungle. Did press you... conference. Pardon? Press conference. I was pretty... Did you say those words about my client? I meant to say King Kong just chased someone out of the jungle. That's what I meant. Did you refer to her as Godzilla to your daughter? I did not. I don't remember that. She ever. testified to that. I don't remember that. It's gone. Sorry. You told everyone it was a hit and run, right? Wrote to your own hometown newspaper and said, she hit and ran me. I did say that. that and, was and that's been dismissed by this court. Do you understand that? Um, yes, I guess so. I want to talk, uh, please bring that up. This is uh, D110. And do you see it on your screen, sir? One uh, four, yes, uh -huh. can, page 400. Can you do, maybe enlarge the first half? Post-incident travel by Dr. Sanderson, Mr. Sanderson. Did you go to Peru? Yes. After the collision. All of these are after the collision, okay? Yes. Visit Machu Picchu. Costa Rica, yes. Walk the Golden Trail? Yes. Machu Picchu is in Peru. Uh, yes. Floated down the Amazon? Uh, yes, I guess so. Costa Rica, did you do a zip line? Same trip, yes. Did you go to Europe, visit Netherlands, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, France, Belgium? With my daughter, Jenny, yes. Bottom half, James, please. Did you go to the Netherlands three times? I don't remember. Well, if you're disputing it, then we pull it out of your out of your deposition. I don't remember. I have no reason to dispute it or agree. Okay, Morocco twice. True. Uh, likely, very likely. Canary Islands. I need to know if you're disputing these things. I can't dispute it. No. Thailand. Did you go to Thailand after the collision? Yes. Did you visit at least the states of Washington, Oregon, Montana, and Idaho? After the collision? Probably, yes. Let's go to the You're a Facebooker, right? At least you were at the time. You posted um, a lot on social media. It, it, relative to other people, it didn't seem like I did. Very little. All of these pictures are from your, your personal Facebook after the collision. Okay. Let's go to number 47. And is there a way to enlarge it? James, is this you uh, doing a selfie in your backyard? Beautiful sunset, probably so. Page 48, having a party in your backyard? No. That was somebody else's party. I just dropped it. It was my renter's party. If you can straighten it up. Cinco de Mayo. And she wanted to use the back deck. And enlarge if you can. You went to a party in your backyard I just after the collision. True. I just visited to make sure they had everything they needed. Yes? Yes. Page 49, not very good quality. Uh, this is from you and your girlfriend at the time, smiling. Yes. True? Yes, yes. Next one, 40, number 50. This is a picture of you and your girlfriend. Yes. And uh, smiling big, right? Smile, camera, yep. Next one, 51. This is you and your girlfriend. Is that Southern Utah hiking? I don't remember where. Looks like you have one of those cool backpacks with water uh, on. Is that true? Yes, that's true. Next one, 52. This is you going on a hike, 
taking a picture of a moose, right? Yes. Nothing like fresh, cool air, a running brook, an easily entertained and hungry company. That's your your personal post, is that true? Yes. Definitely. 53. This is another picture of you on a hike. True? Yes, trying out my camera, saying smile. Every See. one of these pictures is after the collision. Page yeah. 54. This is you and your girlfriend at the time. Is that true? Uh, yes. You look pretty happy. You agree? Yes. Page 55. This is you and your girlfriend. This is this very same year, 2016, as the incident in question. Uh, this is you and your girlfriend on your Facebook. All smiles. True? Yes, true. 56. Let's look at a, got another picture you and your girlfriend on a hike, smiling. True? Yes. Do you have that cool backpack on again? Yes. Camelback, is that yes, the brand? It is. it is. Page 57, let's okay. go again. Is this you, same year of the accident, hiking? Yes. That looks pretty steep. Trying to get back in shape, yeah. Page 58, is this you kayaking after the collision? Just. Now this is, we're seven months after the collision. Absolutely not. That, is that a kayak above you? I don't know what it is. Sir, I asked you about this in your deposition. Is this uh, you kayaking? No, absolutely not. Oh boy. I was trying on helmets to protect my head. Did you go kayaking after the collision? I don't remember that, but this is not it. This was in a local It's a school. whole different question. Let's ignore the picture. Thank you. Did you kayak after the collision? No, I don't think so. All right. Let's try to find it. You went scuba diving, right? Uh, what year? After, I don't even care what year. After the collision. I did go sometime after, yeah. You went to an auto show in Germany. Does this sound right? With my daughter, yes. Went to a shooting range, does this sound right? Yes. BMX bike show, right? Um, maybe, not sure. Scuba diving four different occasions, is that true? Uh, probably on the same week, on the same trip, probably. Went on a boat ride of several canals in the Netherlands, true? Yes. You rode bikes? Yes. Did bus tours? Yes. Boat tours? Uh, yes. Auto show we talked about. Explored older towns in Central Europe. True? True. With my daughter. It was wonderful. Morocco. Is that is there a word called M-A-R-R-A-K-E-C-H? Yeah, yes. What is that again? It's a city. All right. You visited there twice? I did, Zakia. Explored Jewish markets there? Yes. Cultural sites, Dion, the Dior Museum. Is that cool? Yes, I did. Let's move on the kayak. Is there a reason you're... Are you wearing a helmet for a kayak with a kayak right above you? You know, I'm in, a, I'm in a sporting goods store on the west side that has everything in it, and there was a mirror right there, um, and I was trying on helmets for protection, not for kayaks, just for general protection. Maybe, maybe for skiing at that time. I was looking, they didn't have anything I wanted. All right, let's looking go for to, a MIPS helmet. Let's go to 59. You went to a rock concert, is that true? After the collision? I probably did. Same year. Let's go to 60. I think this is when I tried the green, working for the green team, recycling again. That's after the that's collision? A, yes, that's the team. I tried it. That's you on the first uh, row on the right with a big smile. True? Yes, that's me. Let's go to 61. Oh, and Carlene, sir. 61. Is this your girlfriend at the time in a cool-looking waterfall? It is. Let's go to 62. 
Is this you after the collision uh, up in the ski resorts, or yeah. what is this? Yeah, about a year later. Um, I think I was just walking up in the hills above my house. Okay, page 63. Is this you skiing after the collision? Um, it could be. I did go with Robin one time to try it out. I tried it by myself twice. Okay, 60. Well, I, I'm asserting that this is you skiing after the collision. Do you dispute it? It was that following year. I don't dispute it. Okay, 64. Is this out, are you out with your drinking buddies? Yes. Uh, did, you, did you have an installed breathalyzer in your car? Uh, yes or no? Um, I had a, a personal one that you just hold in your hand. Page 65, is this you and your notes? I'm. Is this you and your... Yes, being proud of my daughters, being strong daughters, because we're in an exhibit um, that was about strong women. Page 66, and you went to that exhibit, right? I did. Is this you? This is a post highly recommending the, the escape room for fun, family, engagement, and problem solving. Yes? Especially if you go with teenagers, it's a ball. Okay, but you're, yes. you're actually contributing to figuring out how to get out of a a kind of a scary, mysterious room. You just put the kids in charge. They figured out it's amazing. 67. Is this you wheels up at Salt Lake bound for Europe the year after the collision? That's the empty seat next to me that Robin was supposed to sit in and told me she didn't like me anymore, that my personality changed. Did you go to Europe and did you post this? Wheels up bound for Europe. I posted it. It doesn't say, I'm really sad that my girlfriend won't come with me. It doesn't say that. It's nope. like, nope. Okay. I Page 60, just wasn't sure that would happen. 68, Switzerland. Lots of wondrous sights yes, in my I, travels through Europe, right? Yes. My Six, daughter took Robin's place. I 69, the Frankfurt International Auto Show, year after the collision. Yes. The Mercedes exhibit. Page 70. Another beautiful day in paradise with your girlfriend. Is this your post after the collision? Feeling happy, it says at the very top. Did you post this? I, I believe I did. 71. You're on some kind of tour boat in the Netherlands or something. Does this sound right? I don't remember where, but yes. Page 72. Me. Is this you and your girlfriend... Uh, in the Netherlands? That was a new friend, yes. Page 73, is this you uh, on a bike ride looking fit and happy? Yes? Yes. Page 74, is this you at the Siam Park with some friends? Um, just uh, the two, just Sakia and her son, Shaquille. And what, what country is Siam Park in? I think it's Canary Islands, just, just off Morocco. It's pa Canary. Page 75, you and your buddies. Uh, <laughs> one night, it's my turn to be wingman. There's no chicks and dancing girls. Do you see that? That's I your do. post? I do. Page 76, is this you uh, doing yoga or mamba or what? It's Zumba, and she let me bring my two granddaughters there, and we had a blast. She's really good. It's page 77. Crazy fun. At the Pioneer School. Did you post that? I did. That's Is the that one. you in the green hat? Yes. You were sort of the centerpiece, the spotlight person in the play? Yes, I played Zero the Hero for my kindergarten. It's cool you did that. Page 78. Is this one of the other pictures you posted from that event? Uh, looks like it. Looks and you're like the it centerpiece of the whole thing, right? You're the oh, star? Yeah. I loved having those little kids sitting on my lap and thinking I was a hero. Yes. Page 79, is this you golfing um, after the actually, event? Actually just showing Shaquille how to hit balls. I don't, I don't remember golfing. I think I just took him. and Driving him. range, right? Yes. Seven, uh, 80, is this you... Are you in this river cruise, river boat? I believe so. Okay. Um, yeah. Page 81. Did, 
someone you were with or you go parish sailing? This was in Switzerland. No, I didn't go parish sailing. So this is just a stranger in Switzerland? Yes. Okay. 82. Is this you and your girlfriend? Uh, it's my daughter, Polly. Polly. Thank you for telling me that. I hope she was not offended by my question. Is this something you posted? I don't know. Uh, she probably posted it, I believe. 83. Is this you on a camel? It is. <laughs> What's, what country? It's Morocco because Zakia had Morocco heritage. Let's go to 84. Is that you in front of something cool? Yes, one of millions of temples in Thailand that I kept telling my friends I got to travel, so. Page 85. Is that you? It is, yes. Poster boy for fitness at age 75. <laughs> Would you agree? <laughs> no, not at all. Page 86. Is this you doing miniature golf? Yes. Page 87. Is this you and your girlfriend on Facebook? No, that's my daughter Polly again. She looks Ugh. just like me, I think. I did, Except 1,500 yes. years on younger. Yeah. Sorry, Polly, if you're listening. All right. Let me just... Um, I have more pictures. Let's go to 99Z. Defendant's 99Z. Uh, I don't think those have been admitted yet. Move to admit. Uh, which ones? 99Z through as many as I can get through in the next five to seven minutes. Some water? Sure. Could you bring some water for the witness? It's on the desk. Oh. Hold I have 10 minutes. So we're going to go through some more pictures. Move to admit 99Z through 99GGG. I've got 99. Oh, there are pictures. Go ahead. 99Z through GGG is received. I think we've hit several of those, so perhaps I'll go address something else. Did you say... when you said, uh, decided that you had been hit from behind, that you felt like you were flying. I didn't know how else to describe it. I was, yes. I was weightless, yes. You told me about three near-death experiences after the collision. True? I did, yes. One was where you knocked yourself out and you were out a long time because the whatever had melted had actually warped the wood floor. Do you remember this? I did, yes. Did you seek medical care for that? No, wasn't tuned in. Did you think you were out at least 45 minutes? At the time I did, but now I've come to conclusion that I, it was 2.30 in the morning and I just wiped up all the water on the floor and I didn't get it all. I think that's what caused the swelling. It usually takes about 45 minutes, so I'm pretty sure that would be impossible to be out. Did you think it was important for you to maybe go see a doctor and having hit your head and being out for a long period enough that the water warped the wood floor? At the time I thought that, but I was not making good decisions and that sort of near-death experience happened twice again. Another right near-death experience was uh, you were cutting a cardboard box and, and uh, cut your leg, is that true? With the box cutter, yes. Through the femoral artery. Looked like a murder scene. And then a third 
uh, near-death experience was an accidental overdose of medications. Yes. And they had to give you Narcan because you'd taken Oxycontin and Tramadol. Is that right? I didn't know I'd taken Tramadol. I took just the, the, Nar- I took just right. the um, Oxycontin that I had for my ribs, actually. My ribs were being broken from the ski accident. And you blame Miss Paltrow. Miss Paltrow for all three of those near-death experiences after, true? I don't know if I Are said Are you that. claiming it right now in this lawsuit? Yes, very unusual for me not to make good decisions, medical decisions. I think I'll re- reserve my remaining time for uh, redir- redirect. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, thank you. So, you need a drink? I've been trying. All right. Terry, you've been shown lots of pictures about all the different travels that you've done. Have you always traveled in your life? I have. Well, no, just since retirement mostly, but... Okay. You've traveled before? Yes. Traveled after the accident? Oh, yes. Have you ever told this jury or tried to insinuate in this trial that you couldn't travel? Absolutely not. Why did you travel? After after the ski accident, why did you travel? It was part of the healing process, I was told by several neurologists and cognitive therapists, get back to your routine. The sooner you can do that, the better you'll be, and that's been proven in some research. Now, all these pictures, they look really great. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're smiling, you're happy, um, Reflexive. Did you struggle on those trips? Yes, I, I really did. I, I, I couldn't go by myself anymore. And I found that out the hard way when Robin decided that she didn't like me anymore after five years. Um, I asked my daughter to go along, and she didn't get there until the next morning. I um, bought her a flight, and, and she came over, and what did I do? Stepped off the curb. Now, which daughter was that? Jenny B. That's Jenny. That's the yeah. Jenny that we've heard all about that said all kinds of nasty things about you. She went on a trip to Europe with you. We, I, Yes, and we had a great time. Yes, we did. All right. She loved it. You were shown some pictures of the green team and volunteering. Yes. You talked a little bit about that last week, mm-hmm. but what has this accident done to you with volunteering? Wow. It has just shut down my volunteer work. I tried uh, uh, dozens of different volunteer groups I worked with, probably 200 hours a year of volunteer easily, and Green Team was a big one. I'd go up and pick up aluminum plastic, hard work, bending, stooping, lifting, 16,000 steps, and you get everything done by 1 o'clock in the morning, go home. And um, my plan was to do that, but I got lost. And it took me a long time to figure out how to get home. I refused to use my maps. I just, I just don't need it. But that was, that was the first real time that I thought, oh my, I, something is really different. It's, I have no instincts for North anymore like I used to. And you've heard, you've been here now all this week. Um, you've heard all kinds of doctors talking about how you were getting old, how you were worried about dementia, all of these mental issues. This is just a natural progression of, of how you were. The jury's heard from family and friends that witnessed how you changed. This is leading, Your Honor. I, I'm just setting the background. I, I'm going to ask the question right now. Okay, I'd like to hear it. What is your perception, Terry, how you changed? Was it dramatic? Was it slow? What changes did you see and did you perceive following this ski collision? Looking back on that time, I was determined to prove I didn't have any mental issues. Everything I did was to stamp that in my record that this guy is trying hard. He does not want to bring that into his life. It was a big deal. And I just found that it was like flipping a switch. It was like I looked back and it was the bright side and now I'm in the dark side. 
and my volunteering stopped, so a lot of my self-esteem stopped. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do the job. In fact, I got chewed out by somebody I knew for 30 years saying, not that long, 15 years, saying, Terry. Sounds like hearsay, Your Honor. Excited utterance. Sorry, honey. And it's not offered for the, the truth. You may answer Absolutely. for limit. It'll be accepted for a limited purpose. I can you answer. You can answer, yes. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I kept I getting chewed out because I couldn't remember what I was doing, even though I'd done it for so many years. And I tried it again a second time, maybe two years later, and I got chewed out again by a lady I'd known for quite a while. I said, something's different about me. So, and Terry, how did that make you feel? Oh, I, I, it's always nice, and you know that, if you walk into a room and it says, hey, come on over here, it's Terry, you know? But when they just say, oh, it's Terry, there's something different. There's people don't see me the same way, and I don't feel the same, and it's very disappointing to short answer, very dis discouraging. You were asked about the, the press conference and um, referring to Miss Paltrow as King Kong. Were you referring to her as King Kong or the noise that you heard? What, what did King Kong refer to? King Kong? Overruled. I'll withdraw, I'll withdraw Over, it. Overruled. Go ahead. My apologies to Ms. Paltrow because my intention was, got twisted up in my intentions and, and was to say it was sounded like a lady getting chased by King Kong out of the jungle. It was that kind of a, I'm really scared. And I want you to describe that, okay? Because you kind of whispered it a little bit last week. When did you hear a scream? As I passed those big signs that said, slow down, seriously, I just went into a glide. I just started gliding. I was going plenty slow, not passing anybody on my left. I just started gliding. And then the silence was broken of that just simply gliding down the hill, not making turns, and uh, always on the right side. And the silence was broken with a hysterical scream, the very best hysterical scream you've ever heard. At what point did the scream happen? Was it before you were hit? When you were hit? As you're going down? When was it? I, I heard it and tensed up. I, right, absolutely a half a second probably before I got hit. In fact, I'm not so sure the scream even ended when I got hit. It's It ended as, I, as she hit me and then over we went. Okay. So... There's, there was some testimony uh, from Ms. Paltrow again that the, she was hit in the back by a very large man, or that there was a very large man. Could you just step down for just a moment? Can state the testimony, Your Honor? Can we get a question? Could, uh, could you just step off the sure. stand for just a moment? Could you get a question? What does that mean? Uh, she, oh, from, she, from the she is okay. inserting evidence into the record. The, overruled the jury. The jury will remember what the evidence was. Terry, do you? No, no, no. Right here. Right here. Do you consider yourself a very large man? Many times I wish I was, but no. Definitely on the small side. There's a reason I asked Ms. Paltrow why she was 5'10", or how tall she was Are last week. Commentary. Let's have questions. Ms. Paltrow testified she was 5'10". Overruled. Overruled, it's just prefatory. Go Thank ahead. Thank you. Ms. Paltrow testified she was 5'10 last week. How tall are you, Terry? 5'5". Five five. Thank you. The accident that day, the ski accident that day, were there a lot of people on the run? Was it crowded or was it deserted? Most runs that I've seen, it was, compared to most runs, it was very crowded. I would say moderately to high full is what it seemed like. Lots of people. And were you skiing back and forth on the run or did you stick to the right side? That's another fact that's been changed. I was on the right side exactly like I said. 
saw all the people con congealed in the middle and just went diagonal straight over to the right side and stayed inside of that five yard boundary where nobody was. One lone person coming out once in a while that I was wary of that was down a ways. Mm -hmm. And that's when the scream happened and that's when you were hit? Absolutely, and there was no one in front of me. And how did you land to your recollection? Uh, downhill, of course. I'm going downhill, so our heads are downhill. So that's, I just, I saw it on the hill and crashed there. And I didn't remember doing this, but I did put my hands out to catch myself. That was instinctual, saved my face. But um, we landed, and I remember lurching off the right foot as I got hit, I thought I got to use whatever I can, and I pushed it deliberately a little bit to the right because I did not want anyone in the crowd to get tangled up in us uh, as they're going by. And I did see, just before I hit the ground, I just remember seeing a skier on the left. Goodbye. Mr. Owens asked you, hit and run. You said it was a hit and run. Why did you say it was a hit and run? I always considered a hit and run was something when you ran into something or somebody and then you just left the scene and as far as I'm concerned there was no one there when I woke up no one except a angry man as I said and then I saw Craig and is that how you felt that That's it was a hit I felt run? That I was yes that was like if you get knocked down and knocked out and nobody's around afterwards that did it I say hit and run okay. thank you for clarifying You've been here for a number of days. You've heard all the doctors testify. Your entire life has now been broadcast to the world. I feel like I've been fleshed out, and anyone up here I think would feel the same way. In Very fact, painful. In fact, I think you just told me back there, well, I can never go on another dating site <laughs> again. It's true. Everyone knows too much. Do you regret bringing this lawsuit? Well, that's the purpose, I think, is to make me regret this lawsuit and uh, that it's the pain of trying to sue a celebrity it's just very difficult I will tell everyone that you're gonna get exposed your, your honor we're not talking about this case now he's talking about the world sustained as to the generalization was it important to you to bring this lawsuit it was I felt like I was seriously injured, and then I had so many insults added to that, I think as I said the other day, so many insults added to that and layered on that after a while... Your Honor, post-collision conduct is not an issue, layered on insults is not part of the lawsuit. O overruled? Yeah, it, I'm classifying as an ins insult, but it's absolutely ignoring me, ignorance. And, and that's what it felt like. It's like, what is going on here? This is obviously an issue that someone needs to be accountable for. And if they're never accountable, what are they going to do? They're going to do it again. Now we have the molesting of young children on an island. Your Honor, Denial. this is ridiculous testimony. He's talking it's about... Sustained as to relevance, the last part, the jury should disregard. That's all I have, Terry. Do you realize you are the reason your life has been exposed to the world? You, not Miss Pothra. I'm realizing that now, yes. Painful. Do you remember, you've said you've shrunk and lost weight since the incident, right? Well, I gained, I ballooned. Now, when we stand you up, you've, you've lost like 15 pounds and shrunk three inches, right? I had Yes or no? I had no idea. I guess yes. I was just a few days ago. You said I was one seventy-five to eighty and five eight. Remember? Where, I said that not here. Oh, you know what? In this very trial. Oh, oh, overruled. I know why I said that. It's because the VA records weighs you with all your clothes and everything on, and I knew that's what you were reading was what clothes the VA don't reported. give you three inches. You with me? Heels do. Did you have heels on? No, not the tall. All right. You even called yourself pudgy at the time, that you were pudgy. 
Do you remember that word? What, what you time? Dispute what, using the pudgy. What time frame? The time when I deposed you, you said you were pudgy. Okay. That's kind of a fun term, yeah. Do you dispute it? I don't. What does that word mean? Um, I never thought about it. Just sort of got a little more roundish, I guess. Haven't defined that before. Did you? Did I hear you say I? You didn't like to be ignored. Don't ignore me. Are those the words you used? Just just now. Just two minutes ago. I probably did say that. Let's go to page one seventy of your deposition and ask that it be published and brought up. Do you have your transcript right there? Can I do. You, I think so. I think that's what this is. Your Honor, may I do that? You can just read it. Uh, it hasn't worked in the past. And, uh, Let's try it now. So, so I'm under 32, you can use the deposition. You can certainly read it into the record, but we don't need to All right. Show Let's it. go to page 170, do, and I'll assist you if you want me to. I don't even know where 170. I don't see. I see. I mean, can I, I have approach or? Oh, it's another whole other. Can I close the exhibits? Yeah. Close that up and then I think it's the, the the three piles of paper there. Okay. One of those. Council, if you could just get him to the page, that'd be great. Thank you. Do you want me not to approach? Him? No, 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 no. I said if you'd want to get him to the page, that would be great. Yes. yes. Thank you. That's what I want to do. Thank you. I wouldn't have known which ones to. Okay. And do you see, I'm going to start reading at line 12. You skip the good stuff. <laughs> this lady is on my left. Well, let's go back for a little. Remember, I said, I want to know what's going on in the 10 seconds before the impact. Do you remember? I do remember that, but is it written here? I don't know. Yes, that's my question on page 169. And then on 170, you said, and then I remember there's this lady on my left that was kind of tentative. So I deliberately, in fact, I think I said, passing on your right. Pretty sure I did. I usually do, passing on your right. And then, you know, it was just easy. It was just as easy, smooth glide. And there were not a whole lot of people. Counsel, and what, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't want to be interrupted right now, please. Page 170. And when I got to that point, I could see the bottom of the hill. Mm -hmm. I could see that the trees came in a little bit from the right. Mm -hmm it seems like, and then the whole slope was opened up. There were a few occasional people out there, but I could see all the way to the bottom. There were nobody, nobody. And then this, and nobody could have passed on my left except the gal I had just passed. So that gal I was really conscious of because I still worried about her. And so as I went past her, I went inches, inches per second past her. I just remember it took forever to me, for me to get past her. Mm -hmm. And there were skis. And when they disappeared out of my vision, that's, that's the time I heard this. So, that's the time I heard this saw, indicating scream, and then bang, it happened. It was about a second and a half, and it just hit me right in the back. All right, so do you recall that in the m seconds before the collision, you were, try you were worried about the person to your left? Do you recall that? I gave her plenty of space because she seemed like I moved way to the right before the off-piste, yes. But you were with inches of her. No, I was not within inches of her, no. All right, what did you say here? Well, first of all, did I correctly read your testimony? Oh, yes. All right. It took, f you were inches per second past her. Moving very slowly, yes. I just remember it took forever to get past her, and there were skis. Now, your, your eye, right eye has problems, right? A little bit, yeah. Not a little bit. Yes, a little bit. Blind. 
No. You told three of your providers at the VA, I'm blind in my right eye. I use the word loosely. You used it, and you're an optometrist, right? I did. All right. So let's not say little bit, because that's pretty different from blind. It is. All right. So you're, you're trying to not hit this person on the left, and you're blind in your right eye. Do you agree that you turned to clear the person on your left? No, I knew I had plenty of room before I started by her. I wouldn't go by her without knowing I had plenty you of room. You took great care, didn't you? I did. To make sure you didn't hit the beginner skier on the left. Yeah, but you just don't go over Is that there. true? Yes. That's all, thank you. Ms. Van Orman. Were you skiing cautiously? <laughs> You know, I've had a long time to think about whether I want to be dangerous or cautious, and I choose cautious, yes, I don't take chances. What is your vision like in your right eye? My vision, I will, I will compare it to a flat light day. I have flat light days, if anybody knows what that means. It seems you, ju you just don't, can't tell the contours as well uh, of, of, of where you're at, and so you have to be a little more careful, uh, make sure you get in the right spot at the right time. And so I get a lot of practice skiing flat light days. That's what it amounts to, I think. That's how I describe it. Any trouble skiing with your right eye? Never any trouble. I and unrestricted skiing. They don't handicap me on the ski slope or driver's license. I'm unlimited. I do fine. That's all I have. Thank you. No more questions, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sampson. Thank you. Any more witnesses, Mr. Owens? Uh, no, Your Honor. Okay. Given our court limitations on time, uh, the defense rests. We reserve the right, maybe as soon as the jury's gone, to admit into evidence each of our exhibits. Okay. As long as we have a good understanding of our ability to do that. Um, so we'll reserve your, your formal resting until after we deal with the exhibits. Thank you. Members of the jury, we're going to.